Recording started. All right, so we are going to be rolling now into uh, Unit 3, which we're going to be going over uh, Central America. Oh, somebody said they saw the, uh, that's kind of the Harry Potter World 1, right? The Crimes of Grinwald. I saw that too, not too long ago. I, th I thought it was pretty good. I thought it was better than the first one. The uh, Amazing Beast, somewhere to find him. Yeah. So yeah, it's a, basically a prequel of Harry Potter. I thought it was better. Yeah, then, um, yep, before Harry Potter was born. Yeah, I thought it was a good one. So, yeah, I, I would definitely recommend it. It ties it more together. I thought the first uh, Amazing Beast or something like that, just, yeah. I, I just didn't get it how it tied, and then this one tied it all together. So now I'm excited to see the, the same one. Yeah, yeah, so it's about the school book, but now it's time back into Harry Potter a little bit, or at least characters in Harry Potter. So I... I've liked it a little bit more. Pretty good. So, okay, well, let's talk real quick about Central America uh, and some things here, okay? So, what I want to go over first, I kind of talked about this before I hit record, but pacing, okay? So, to stay on pace until the end of class, uh, you should have done the following already, okay? You should have done lesson one quiz, two, three, four, and five, okay? If you haven't done those, there's still time to do them. Here's a little secret. Redo them as many times as you want to get the grade you want, okay? Just, you know, rewatch, find where the the questions are in the video and answer them, okay? It's all there. Yeah, yeah, you keep forgetting we have a flipped class. Yeah, flipped class on Friday. Remember that. I post that on the announcements, so make sure you get it there, okay? All right, so... This week, what you should be doing this week, lesson six quiz, okay? That's on the flipped class that I gave, not this last Friday because we had break, but the Friday before that. I think it was the, I can tell you the date, all the way back on the 16th. So go back and look at the announcements on the 16th. You'll see that flipped class, and that covers lesson six quiz, so is the presentation due today? I'd like you to get it done today. I don't put in the zeros until Monday, this coming Monday. So I'm not going to put in zeros until December 3rd. Okay, so you really have the rest of this week to get it in. Okay, now the country presentation, that's the end of Unit 2. There's information on there. I created a video on that as well. I'm going to, just one more time, I'm going to uh, put that out in the chat for you guys. This is a video of how to do it, okay? Um, I'm going to also push it out there as well, okay? So that is the video of how to do the country presentation. You just choose any country throughout the entire world. You do a little bit of research on it using the online library or uh, Google Scholar, okay? And then what we're going to go over to class today is going to be the Lesson 7 Quiz. So you want to do all of these done by the end of this week, okay? All of these done by the end of this week, or you're going to see zeros go in for them on the thing. So some people have emailed me their country presentation video, okay? And then some people have put it into the, the online learning thing. Either way, I'll accept them, okay? Just find a way to do it, okay? So those three things you need to do this week. Okay, we're going to do a little breakout activity real quick. Get us warmed up. I'm going to only give us like five minutes on the clock. But one group's going to go over Belize. The other group's going to go over Panama. The other group's going to go over Honduras. The other one, Nicaragua. Okay, so I'm going to have you highlight the one. You're going to go to the online library.uen.org. Okay, and I'm going to show you how you're going to do that real quick. So I'm going to share my desktop. Okay, if you can see my desktop now, will you give me a green check mark real quick? So I know you guys, okay, one, two, okay. All right, very good. Good job, guys. Glad you can see it. So you're going to go to onlinelibrary.uan.org. I'll put that in the chat in a second and also push it out to you. 
uh, and this is how you'll do your research for your um, your country presentation okay if you haven't done it already so you go to Utah student the username is online and the password is learning okay so it's changed from last year so you may have get something a little bit different when you watch the videos <laughs> click on that then you're gonna go to culture grams which is the top here and then you're gonna go world edition South well actually oh we don't want to go South America we want to go North America even though we're talking about Central America today they clump it into North America and so say we had Honduras we're gonna click on Honduras right here and then you have the population language on the side here religion that kind of stuff okay so that's where I just want you to know how to do that so we're gonna get into breakout rooms I'm gonna break you out real quick it's only gonna be about five minutes I'll give you uh, rights to write on the board and you just write down those things okay so let me stop my screen sharing real quick uh, I'm gonna be breaking you into rooms and I'll give you rights in just a second yep oh let me send that link to you right now first do oh where am I at thanks for reminding me Oh, somebody already got it for you guys are awesome thanks no appreciate it okay all right break into rooms it will be on the thing as well we got breakout rooms create we got four rooms okay I'll put up the things in just a second so here we go Alright, your guys' group is Belize, okay? So you're going to be doing it on Belize. Okay, group two, you guys are going to be into Panama. So look for Panama there. Okay, group three, you're Honduras. Honduras. Okay, group four, you guys have Nicaragua. Okay, so start going to there. You got about three minutes, 30 seconds just to research that. Just go there. We're not going to take too much time.
come on, group four. You got something for me, don't you? Okay, you only got a minute left. Use your, your writing tools and write things there when you go to the online library about the land, population, language, and religion of Nicaragua. Alright, if you can hear me, give me a green check mark here. Alright, very good. So that little exercise was just to show you how you do that research for your presentation. And then also, you have a writing assignment at the end of Unit 4. And those are your two kind of big projects there. Okay, so that is it. Okay. Okay. Let's roll on uh, with the rest of the lesson real quick, and uh, we'll get you guys on your way, because my nose is, oh man. All right, so Central America, let's talk a little bit about it. Okay, it's uh, the countries, there's quite a few in there, um, Belize, Costa Rica, El Salvador, Guatemala, Honduras, Nicaragua, Panama, and the Caribbean islands, my favorites. I love going around the Caribbean, cruising sitting on the beaches it's the best place I'll tell you what it's awesome okay all right okay let's answer a question real quick let me get your pulse questions out uh, real quick the a b c or d okay what is the predominant language of Central America okay what is the predominant language so it's the language they speak the most okay in your chat let's do a b c or d okay so we're having some well we've got quite a few a okay a people are saying english a lot of people are saying c spanish as well one b okay oh now we're changing okay now we're changing over five four three two one okay the correct answer is actually spanish okay so you're talking countries like guatemala El Salvador, all of those ones are uh, Spanish-speaking countries, okay? All right, so here's a trick one. What I'm going to do is says what, which country is Spanish not the official language of, okay? Yeah, so the conquest in Spain is, is what did it, and we'll talk a little bit about that in a second. Okay, what I'm going to do on this one, you guys are going to circle this one. So you can take your tools and you can circle which one you want. Is it Belize, A, B, Panama, C, Honduras, or D, Nicaragua? Which country is not the official language? You know, way out of good. Okay, so some people are saying Honduras. Okay, some people say Panama. It was one of your guys' countries that you researched, so make sure that you're doing it. We've got a lot of... Okay, Spanish is not the official language. <laughs> okay, all right, we have all kinds of things, and actually no one has chosen the right answer, okay? The right answer is... Believe... Oh. I went back. The right answer is actually Belize. Oh, somebody did it at the very end. Okay. <laughs> so, oh, you said it was A. All right. Well, somebody said it was A. 
I like how you guys made an art picture out of my thing. I'm not sure what that is, but it's something. <laughs> Very good. Okay, let's go on with a little bit more. Okay, so we got to ask ourselves, where is Central America? So it's actually south of Mexico, and then it goes all the way to the border of Colombia. Okay, when you get into Colombia, then you start uh, South America, which will be going over the next unit. <laughs> if you give you free reign to it, yeah, I'm not going to give you free reign to the, the controls here. <laughs> All right, so as we're going from the south border of Mexico, you have these countries, Belize, Costa Rica, El Salvador, Guatemala, Honduras, Nicaragua, and Panama, okay? These are all very, very poor countries, and we'll be talking about these core pun uh, poor countries, okay? You also have what we call the Caribbean islands, like kind of where... Pirates of the Caribbean, right? So, um, Haiti, Cuba, Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, uh, Jamaica, to name a few, but there's a lot of other ones. Yeah, aka beaches. I love beaches and just the water. Mm -hmm. I could just sit on the beach all day, especially when it's cold outside in Utah. <laughs> Okay, that's where this is at, and you'll see things like this. There's a lot of places that have a lot of green area, um, tropical almost. I mean, you know what? What I've visited some locations, uh, I've seen big, huge tarantulas, uh, all kinds of animal life like that. Yeah, the water is nice there. This one's probably, if I were to guess, it's probably Jamaica. So you know, yeah. That, yeah, it was, it was crazy. We were going up like in this gondola thing up to this like hotel and we just look over on the tree and there's this big huge spider web and this huge spider just sitting there. We we're like, Ugh. you know, and of course you, you don't, you're a tourist, right? So you're wearing like shorts, t-shirt, that kind of stuff. And we're like, uh, maybe I should have wore long pants, right? <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's do another poll question real quick, okay? I'm not I'm just going to have you do A B C or D on this, okay? One. Okay, what Native American group inhabited Central America? Is it A the Utes, B the Navajo, C the Fremont or D the Mayan? Okay. So we have a lot say the Navajo, okay? If you're thinking Navajo, you may be thinking um, more like Utah history. Okay. Okay, so actually A, B, and C were all Indians that are Native Americans that lived in Utah. So the Mayans are actually the only one that's correct. Okay. So the Mayan uh, culture. So the Mayan culture is pretty cool. They're the ones that did all the the fantastic pyramids that you see like in Mexico and Central America there. Uh, this one, I've been to this pyramid right here. This is called it's Chitza. Um, it's it's actually they used to do blood sacrifices there. They, they talked about having this this uh, game where they play and the, actually the winner of the game, the captain of the team, it was an uh, honor to be sacrificed for the gods. And on um, on the solstice, the sun would go just right where it actually looked like on this um, pyramid here that a snake would come down and they would put the head of the victim down there and it would actually look like a snake was, was grabbing there and it would be taking it back to heaven, his soul back to heaven is what they believed. Um, somebody said, I would not like to be sacrificed. Yeah, ne neither would I. So you'd probably want to lose that game. I'm just saying if you were that, but it was considered quite an honor, uh, but they have different other pyramids over there like Tulum and some other ones that are in Belize that are very cool and old to see. Um, that's one of my things on my bucket list. I want to do a tour and just see all of these ancient ruins. Uh, they believed in the different kind of, uh, I don't know if it's on this next page or it's, no, it's in the, my other slides in my the other lessons that we go, we talk about the different gods that they had. They had the sun god that they worshipped. Um, and so it's uh, 
very interesting their culture I, I really enjoy uh, you know seeing these these ancient artifacts okay so one of the things you want to consider when you're looking in this area okay uh, and this is what's going to be the focus really of this uh, um, this unit is poverty okay so we've talked about economic development so that basically means how businesses are going how jobs are running they have the worst like some of the worst in the world okay uh, so you have a lot of those that are poor you have a lot of people that are um, suffering and that's why you have a lot of immigration that we talked about last time coming to North America they're fleeing actually these Central America countries more than they're fleeing like Mexico. So they actually come into Mexico to try to get in the United States. And so it's because of these things. So you have this pyramid over here, and I just want to explain it real quick. This pyramid is called Maslow's Hierarchy of Needs. So this guy named Abraham Maslow. Ma Maslow? Yeah, I think that's called. Uh, he's the one who created this, but he basically said that there's certain things that we need to survive, right? So the bottom one is we have have needs like breathing air. We need food. We need water. We need shelter. We need clothing to stay warm. Okay. We also need to be safe, have safety, employment, that kind of stuff. So when these bottom ones are taking out from under us, we become crazy and we go into like survival mode, right? So if you don't have like, has anybody dived really far down deep into the water and you can't get up to the top fast enough and you feel like you're going to run out of air? What What do you guys do? Oh, yeah, it's like, it's a horrible feeling. And I'm like searching up as fast as I can. You know? Um, yeah, and you think you're going to die, right? But you, you're fighting for all you got and you're doing whatever you have to to survive, right? And, uh... And so that's the same thing with other things. If you're so hungry, what are you going to do? Would you still, okay, would you still if you were hungry and going to starve to death? Okay, so that's something to think about. Would you, um, if somebody had food and, yeah, first begging, then stealing, okay, and then it could even lead to killing, right? So these countries are very unstable, Okay, because of not having these basic needs. Okay, so you become a Latin 2.0. Funny. <laughs> All right. Okay, well, that leads us to the very end. On your exit ticket, you're going to have these three questions. It's the same questions we went over in class. Okay. Uh, and I will send that out real quick. I'll get to some of your guys' private comments. Sorry, I haven't. I've just been teaching and stuff. So let me get out this uh, exit ticket real quick. As soon as you fill it out, you guys can uh, can jump off here. Let me push it out to you as well. Um, and I'll also shoot out to you the... Um, the uh, the video as well for things I know it's horrible I feel bad like I, I feel like I'm just like coughing in your face half the time <laughs> all right oh somebody that a very good question how long does the presentations have to be for the thing you know I'm only looking for two three five minutes tops okay so not very long just enough to go through your um, your slides as you're presenting okay let me get that YouTube video of how to do the the country's project again that will be a good reference and as I said I'm not putting in zeros till this coming Monday so you do have time to put it in but if you can get it in today stay on pace that'd be awesome okay any other questions oh yes can I open the slides for sure For sure. Okay. All right. See you guys. Take care. I'm going to get off. And I'm actually going to go take care of this nose now. I've talked too long so far. Thanks, guys. See ya.